What is the Colombo questioning technique in cells? I'm Scott Silverbell. I'm coming to you live from Sacramento, California. I a perfect day to talk about cells and a perfect day to talk about cells technique and questions and even some Socratic method for you. So, you know, if you've never seen the show Colombo, it was about a guy who uh, was just a nice guy, but he would ask a ton of questions. He would, for essence, he would play dumb. And what he would do is he would go and someone would commit a crime and he would, he would need like a lot of help. So in his form of help, he would ask a lot of questions and like the questions would build. They would start like all the way down here at the bottom, this, this Colombo questioning technique would start down here at the bottom and they would work up and work up and work up and work up and gradually it would, it would encase the person who created a problem. So he would typically investigate murders or thefts or robberies. And so he would go in and say, tell me about this, share with me, help me understand. You know, I don't really get what you're saying. I don't know what's going on. He would play dumb, right? And so it would get the person to open up. And sometimes with some buyers, I will let you know that it, it changes the level. It changes the level that you're on with the buyer. And so like some people like to be really aggressive and some people like to like, I have to be in control of the sales call. I will tell you, it will feel like if you go do this, it'll feel like sometimes like you're giving up power. It'll feel like you're giving up your ability to close the deal. But here's what's gonna happen. Let's say that you meet with a buyer and you know everybody else who's done the sales process one way, they went in there like, this is what you're gonna do and this is how you have to do it. Versus you go in and you use the Socratic method. You're asking questions to figure out what you could do for that person. You're asking questions to figure out their pain, their pleasure, their budget, their risk, whatever's going on. And you're really digging in. You know, it's going to look like you may care more. Now, some industries can use this differently than others. I don't know what industry that you're in that you're watching from. But if you really want to use the Colombo effect, you know, Google the show, watch a couple of episodes and see what happens. Because here's what happens. Colombo would go to a call to a, a, a murder, to a call, like whatever version this was, he would go to a theft or he'd go to a robbery and he would start asking these questions. And the questions would start encompassing the person who would answer them. And then at the very end, he would always leave like one question that was like the super strong closing question that would get him all the information that he needed to know. Now, you can learn a lot from people who ask questions because sales is about asking questions. I got to, to watch Jeffrey Gittimer speak one time and Jeffrey Gittimer said, hey, you know, if you had to define sales, it would be ask questions, like two words, ask questions, right? So the better that you could be at asking questions in sales, the better that you can get at closing deals. And like, you know, you'll hear the word, the phrase, telling isn't selling. And when I see salespeople struggle, they're creating sales sabotage by going in and saying, look at my product, look at my service, it's all fantastic, widget, gizmo, blah, 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 blah. And the next thing that the buyer's like head explodes and then they're, they're given objections in the sales process and then the salesperson gives a discount or price matches to get the sale. So you can learn a lot from people asking questions. The Socratic method of, of, of question asking is very solid. It's very strong because you're, you're, you're starting down here to figure out where you're gonna go and you build yourself up. Now, I will tell you, there is a danger when you don't think through the questions that you're going to ask. You are going to have to take some process, some time to process what kind of questions you're going to ask. You may have to write them down. You may have to think through this because you and me, we have sat with that person who's just asking questions to ask questions. And you're like, oh my goodness, please stop. Are you going to stop? Do you not know how to ask questions? Are you just asking me to ask? Do you really want to know? Are you being an ask? A-S-K? Whole, are you just asking to ask? I mean, do you really, what, what's going on here? So you have to be careful. You're gonna have to put some thought to this. So if you're gonna use the Colombo technique in sales, um, Socratic method in sales, you have to, it's gonna take some work and effort. It's not something like five minutes later, you're good to go. You are gonna need some, some books. You're gonna need to watch some videos. You're gonna have to listen to some people asking questions. And then, you know, maybe Google and watch some Colombo episodes and it'll help you out. So there you go. Colombo technique for sales or Socratic questions asking in sales, they will really help you out when and only when you put in the effort to do it. Now over here on the sides of the screen or in the box down below, there's a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do? You gotta subscribe because the cool thing is that happens is every time that a video comes out, you'll get an alert that says, hey, Scott Sylvan Bell sent out a video and then you get to check it out and watch it. So there you go. Thanks for dropping by. We'll see you soon. Aloha.